Brace yourselves as I reveal the most ridiculous questions about ABDL. I have scoured the internet to find the most ridiculous comments about ABDL. These are from those not in the community as well as some are from those in the community. Now mind you, there were several comments for each one of the questions. I just took the one that was the most ridiculous sounding. And I did not do the ones that were nasty and horrible and terrible because, well, you know, I still want to keep my channel somewhat decent. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Number one, ABDLs are just attention-seeking adults. It also went on to say they need to grow up and quit pretending to be babies. Who's pretending? But yes, we are just out seeking attention. There, you caught us. Because nothing screams attention seeker like diapering yourself, going into little space by yourself, not wearing a diaper underneath your pants because you're afraid someone might notice. Yes, all this screams attention seeker. Us damn ABDLs in our attention seeking ways. As far as needing to grow up, this may come as a shock to them and they, they might want to sit down but we are all grown up. Mm -hmm. We have jobs, we pay bills, we vote, and have adult responsibilities. We just choose to regress to a simpler time in life. Some use ABDL as a stress reliever and just a way to relax. Some use ABDL as a way to get back a stolen childhood, AKA traumatic childhood. Besides, where does it say in the life rule book does it say you have to act a certain way from age to age? And as for pretending to be babies, it's called regressing. Mm-hmm, regressing. Let us see here. Pretending. Speak and act so as to make it appear that something is the case when it, in fact, it is not. Hmm. That kind of sounds like your comment there, doesn't it, buddy? Regression. A return to a former or less developed state. I embrace my inner child. So regress back to a time when I felt the safest and most comfortable. A less developed state. So who's really pretending here? However, this comment couldn't be further from the truth. ABDL is a valid lifestyle for many individuals and it is important to respect their decisions. Kink, fetish, lifestyles, we should be respecting each other's differences. Number two, this community should exclude anyone who does not fit our narrow definition of what a real ABDL is. Okay, so we're back to the gatekeepers. Yay! Some within this community feel that you must meet a specific requirement to be in the community. To them, you are not allowed to be within the ABDL community if you are over 25, don't have a hot, sexy body, a sexual being. You also have the ones that say you can't be in the community if you are a non-sexual being. You have to do number one and number two in your diaper if you're going to be in the ABDL community. And you can just fill in the blanks for whatever else you think there is. Yep, judging from that list, I'm pretty much screwed. I guess I should just go sit in that rocking chair out on the patio, overlooking the lawn with the throw blanket over my legs because though it's 110 outside, it's still just a bit nippy and yelling at those damn kids to stay off the damn lawn all while drinking hot tea and sucking on my hard candy because my teeth have since long gone. Yep, that's how some of this community view anybody who's over the ripe old age of 25. There is no requirement to be ABDL. There's no right way, there is no wrong way. You just be ABDL and enjoy yourself. Number three, ABDLs are just perverts with a diaper fetish. ABDL is more than just a kink or fetish. For many, it's a way to express comfort and relaxation in a non-sexual manner. Why is it whenever somebody does something outside the norm, people look at it as some form of perversion? I mean, I love to eat apples. I eat about five or six apples a day. When I'm shopping, it takes me forever to pick out 
the right apples. I search on all the different ways to cook apples, to bake apples, to eat apples, different things to put on apples. I love apples. I even look for apples I've never even heard of. Some would say that I have an apple fetish. That doesn't mean I want to have perverted kinky sex with apples. I just enjoy eating them. Wearing diapers and regressing or letting your inner child out doesn't make one a pervert. They just enjoy wearing a diaper. So let them. Number four, ABDLs must have mental health issues. I don't understand why if you like something outside the norm, you must have mental health issues. I blame the Psychiatric Institute for that one. So let me see if I understand this and let me see if I get this straight, okay? A girl likes working on cars. She's a damn good mechanic and you'd put her up against any male mechanic any day of the week. But since society has deemed a mechanic not a girl profession, she obviously has mental health issues. Oh no, wait, she must be a lesbian. Oh, that's right. LGBTQ+, everybody in there has mental health issues. Damn those normies. Get off of our backs. You're just confusing as hell. Pick a damn bitch and moan and stick to it. Just because someone has an interest that is not seen as normal in society doesn't mean they have mental health issues. It just means they have different interests. Number five. ABDLs are a danger to society. Oh, the places we can go with this one. Okay, I'll have to admit this one was a little difficult to try to figure out. Not sure where they figured wearing a diaper and regressing is a danger to society. Maybe it's because they see us as a danger to their own personal way of life. No, oh, it probably just doesn't fit their own personal morals and values. So it's got to be a danger to society. I think they think that by saying we're a danger to society, it will force lawmakers to make a law against it. I don't know. But saying we are a danger to society is an unfair and very misguided statement. We're just exploring our own personal preferences and shouldn't be labeled dangerous for it. But I guess the smell coming from some ABDL slash DL's diapers could be mistaken as toxic warfare. I don't know, I'm just saying. Number six, ABDL is a sexual kink and has no place in society. Yes, and so is that piece of machinery you have in your nightstand. There are so many sexual kinks and fetishes and lifestyles that have absolutely zero to do with ABDL, but yet we're the assholes here? Or does that just mean they also have no place in society? Besides, for many of us, ABDL has nothing to do with sexual. You know, non-sexual ABDLs are a thing. Just because you like bland, just all up and down, one way, no spice of life into your sex life, doesn't mean that everybody else is wrong. Number seven, ABDLs are sick and should be ashamed. Let me tell you something, little missy. If anyone should be ashamed, it is you for posting a picture with that damn shirt on. If I was a rude, nasty, mean person, I would have posted that picture so that you guys could see it. But I am a nice person and I will not shame her for her shameful dressing habits. This comment is not only disrespectful, but it also perpetrates unnecessary shaming. We live our lives in a consensual and harmless manner. Well with the exception of the diaper chemical warfare. So there you have it. Like, subscribe, share this video, and until the next time, be blessed.